Springs Battle for Middle Earth 2 on the Xbox 360. This is a research dream as I'm playing this RTS with a gamepad. Apparently there's a PC version, but I haven't been able to get my hands on it yet. So I'll just mess around with this one. Okay, basics. Uh, there's a tutorial in this game, but it's kind of long-winded, so I'll see if I can do a, a chopped-up version of it. Okay, so we have uh, one collection of troops here. Press the A button to select uh, one group of them. Hold down the left trigger and press A to select all of the select all of the troops in our army. Press B on empty space to deselect them all. Let's see if I can pick one at a time. So I'll select them all. Click on one part of the troops and press B. Okay, so they are deselected. They are deselected. So we have three groups apparently. Okay. I'll press left trigger A to select them all again. Okay. Uh, press the Y button to skip ahead to the next red flashing area on our mini-map. Uh, they call it a Palantir in this game. It's located on the far left-hand corner of the screen. So I'm pressing the Y button to zoom immediately to this area. So let's uh, go back to where our troops are. Left trigger A. And let's move down and take them out. A little bit at a time, of course. Let's take out the top half. Then we'll whittle them down. No rush, apparently. <laughs> this is a tutorial, so we're not in any kind of danger, because we've been waiting around for about five minutes while I set up my video. Oh, well. A bit later in the video, we'll get to base building and such. Okay. Oh, so instead of pressing Y, I can press X to go back to where they are. Okay. Well, that's good. Y, X. Okay, we're already here. X. Y, Y. I'm pressing Y again. X. All right, so we're good. So it'll be like a, it'll be like a wave, a tide. It'll just move in. It'll just move in and take them all out. And we'll be fine. Yeah, this should be good. A little bit at a time. No rush. <sighs> On a related note, my PS3 just died. Or at least the disc just died. The, the, the laser seems to have died because it won't read any games now. So, back to the 360. Why not? There's plenty of stuff I was going to play anyway. But it's a bit too humid to break out the gaming PC. So, that means it is time for console games. And laptop games to the weather heats, so the weather cools off. Well, completed that mission. By the way, press the back button on the gamepad to go to the objective screen. So we completed our objective so far. So now what's up? There's still going to be a lot of downtime in this video, so I'll splice it up as needed. I'll chop it up. There they are. Okay. Okay, so we've... So I held the left trigger, pressed A to select everyone. I pressed Y to zoom into this spider layer, which is the next flashing area on our mini-map, or Palantir. And I pressed the A button to get our troops into position right here on the far, far edge of the spider layer camp here. So we'll take out one of them at a time so we aren't overwhelmed. I guess this is basic RTS strategy. Here we go. See? And I'll micromanage if I have to. Okay, so one of them's down. Here come the rest of them. Yeah, the AI takes a bit of work. I guess I guess you can wrangle the AI if they're not cooperating. Okay. So let's take out the rubble. And then we can attack this one. See? I think we got some gold by clearing it out. Yep, we're clearing out the rubble. I thought we were clearing out the rubble. Yep, we're clearing out the rubble. Okay, let me uh, deselect one of these guys. 
Okay. Now I can select them all and raise this flag. No, nope, wait, there's another one. Select one group to clear out the rubble. And I'll select this group to raise the flag. There's no flag. Okay, so how do I clear how do I I thought I could raise the flag. We'll have to I guess we'll have to wait for it to spawn. That flag. Okay, so there's a little blue icon. Let me move these guys out the way a little bit so we can see that. There it is. That's the blue flag raising icon. Okay, so we're good. Capture flag. <laughs> Gah, this is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to use my black controller instead. <laughs> this is the one that actually, this is the GameStop controller. Well, GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> Fix your stuff. Got a busted PS3, and now my five, now my three-year-old GameStop controller is out of whack. Actually, I think this is a five. This is a five-year-old GameStop controller. So my 360 has lasted longer than my PS3. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Right trigger. Okay, there it is. So I'm holding down the right trigger so the mini map or palantir has some commands. Purchase a command bar by pressing left or right on the D pad. Press up or down on the D pad to navigate through the shortcut. Okay, up or down. Okay, so you hold down the right trigger like a shift here, I guess. Okay. Okay, so we need a builder. Press up. There are the builders. Press A. Well, I gotta hold down the right trigger this whole time. Oh, Lord. Okay, fine. Builder. Okay. We need a fortress, right? That fortress. Oh. So it's got to be here, so these guys got to move. Okay. Let go of the right trigger. All right, so I got to hold down the right trigger this whole time, so. That's not so bad. So hold down the right trigger. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. Up, 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 up. Builders. Press the left stick. Okay, so that'll take me. So if I'm moving around the screen, I can press the left stick. There we go. That takes me right back to the fortress, no matter what. Okay. Okay. Select a builder. That builder. Move him over here. Okay, right trigger. Uh, uh, right on the D pad. Build farm. There we go. There was an icon above it called 93%. Okay. Uh, more battalions you can command. Okay. So 220, 224 over 600. Okay. Press A. Barracks. Okay. We're going all over the place. Uh, move them over here. Right trigger. Right on the D-pad. Barracks. Press A. Release the right trigger. And we're done. Okay, so we'll build that. So I guess everyone's moving out the way. Battalion here. Battalion here. Italian here, and another one over here. Okay, so what's the next thing we're supposed to build? Archery range. A. Right there. Right there where that battalion is. Just a second. Out the way, bros. Okay. Builder, over here. Right trigger. 
Right, right, right. Archery range. Oh no, what we need. Okay, so we'll let them build that. So what's going up here? Is this our command points? Alright. Well anyway. Anyone else? Wall spans, huh? Oh yeah, this part. This one's kinda whack. <laughs> we'll make it work. Press the left stick. Okay. So I have to pick this corner with the A button. Build plot. Right trigger. Right on the D-pad. Okay. Press A. So there's a wall hub. Release the right trigger. Uh, we'll see the importance of these in just a second. I think we have to build another wall hub here, don't we? Okay, press the A button on the wall hub right there. Right trigger. There we go. So I'm moving the left stick. Okay, yeah, I don't need the Palantir. Okay, so I, I let go of the right trigger and I'm moving this around. Okay, so I'm expanding the wall. They say they want it here, so I'll put it right here. Press A. So they'll build that wall right there. It seem to be very useful. <laughs> I'm using the right stick to move around. Oh, okay. Press A. Wait. Press A. There we go. I have to hold down the right stick. Or hold down the right trigger. Let go of the right trigger. Okay. So I needed to hold down the right trigger to actually get this expanse to show up. So let me press B to cancel that. Press A, hold right trigger, expand the wall, release right trigger. Okay, so the wall's still expanding. All right, never mind. A. So here comes the wall. We gotta do this over here too. They won't let us do it yet. Uh, they'll get this started in a moment. Yep. A button. Right trigger. Wall hub expansion. A. So they will build that wall hub expansion. And then once it's built, we can expand it just like this other one. So it's going out. So it's going forward and then sideways. That's cute. So I guess it's a funnel, I suppose. A, right trigger, release right trigger, wall hub. And then once that one's built, we can expand it to the other, to the other side. Yeah. Probably gonna get copyright stricken with this music. <laughs> so I have to turn that down. Press the A button, right trigger, Expand the wall. Release the right trigger. Okay, I think we're good. Alright. Next. So they have to build like archers and crap, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, trebuchets, right? Okay. So it doesn't matter which one I select, huh? Well, should it be close to the wall? Like, should, like here's the funnel. Should the trebuchet be close to the funnel? Well, we'll put it next to this wall hub. Press A on this wall segment. Near the corner. Hold the right trigger. Right on the D-pad. Trebuchet. Cannot receive this upgrade, huh? Okay, what about this wall hub? Press A, right trigger, nope, can't do that. So I have to select a wall segment. A, A, right trigger. Well, let me use a trebuchet here, huh? So what do I have to do to get the trebuchet? Hmm. 
Yeah, I can't build a trebuchet. What is the dude talking about? Build walls and learn wall defenses. Doesn't matter which one, huh? A. Can't select the trebuchet. Okay, I'll find you something else. A. Oh, it can't be in near a corner, huh? Well, that sucks. All right, so I'll put it right here. A. Yeah, so it can't be near a wall hub, I suppose. Yep, trebuchet. Hold it, release the right trigger. Okay, I see what's going on. So I can't put it immediately next to a... I can't put it immediately next to a wall hub. Because we build a trebuchet down here. But now they want us to actually build some, uh, what you call them. They want us to build a uh, battalion. I think they want us to build some archers. Let me check on something first. No. Options. Yeah, let's uh turn down the music a bit. So we don't get in any trouble here. <laughs> Alright. As we were. Huh. Okay. Battle for Middle Earth 2 on the Xbox 360. In our previous video, with the first part of the tutorial, we built a wall. We built this wall defense here, which is a trebuchet. Now we're being asked to build archers from our barracks, which is over here. Press A. Right trigger. Uh, oh, we're supposed to be building some archers here. Oh, sorry. The range. Now where did I build that range? Is it over here? Yeah. A. Right trigger. Archers. Okay. Let me press the, let me press the uh, back button. Build two soldier and two archer battalions. Okay, so never mind. Right trigger. Okay, so we can't build that yet. Okay, A, on the barracks. Right trigger, soldiers, soldiers. So now we're building two uh, battalions. Archery range. A, right trigger, holding it down. I'm wanting to build some archers. Can't build them yet, I guess. So there are the soldiers. Okay, so now so now we're allowed to build the archers. Okay, A, right trigger, one, two. Two groups of archers. Let's get all these guys set up. And there's another battalion coming out, I guess. Left trigger, A. Now let's uh, get these guys out in front. Okay. Trigger A. We'll get those guys out in front. Select my fortress with the uh, left stick. There we go. Press the A button. Right trigger. Right heroes. Press A. Recruit Boromir. A Lord Boromir. There we go. Recruiting Boromir. At least the right trigger. Okay. Press the A button. So, okay, we'll see how this goes. Probably need to separate these guys. So where are the archers? Too many archers. B. B. Archers. Okay, well he's coming eventually. Well the builder can't do anything now. There he is. Okay. One does not simply select a Boromir. Uh, let's see, now expand the pellets here. Right trigger. Leadership. Press A. Holding the A button. Can't do that one. A. 
Uh, I didn't see what he was just saying. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay, so I press up. Oh, there we go. Well, here they come. This is the basics, anyway. <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's get these archers back here. Because they are going to be attacking from a distance. Well, frame rate's dipping, as one would expect. Yeah, frame rate's tanking, dog. <laughs> Well, I guess it was expected. Boromir. Actually, I'm not level 5, so whatever. Okay. Press up on the D-pad so I get Boromir, heroes, right trigger, so I can see what my options are here. Anyway. Let me select somebody else. Gondor Archers. Press up. Boromir. Okay, so I'm deselecting him if I do that. Should our trebuchet be helping out here? <laughs> right trigger. A. Select everybody and let's do this thing. And who are these guys? Italians. Okay, so they'll help us out. Yep, they're the eagles. Insert subtext here. So what do I need? I need... Yeah, we'll come around and whittle these guys down. Thanks for helping out, dog. Yeah, we can whittle these guys down. Any more archers? Let's get these archers a bit closer. We'll send them out behind the battalion. Uh, right trigger, no. Right trigger. No. Right trigger. Up. Let me try something. Left trigger, A. That's everyone. Hold the right trigger. And I see Gondor soldiers and Gondor archers. So I'll press A to select just the archers. Send them over here. Alright, so maybe they'll explain that in the advanced tutorial. Uh-oh. Supposed to be helping us out, bros. Okay, let's bombard these guys. We won. 